So it seems in the motorcycle world, there are two types of riders. Those who wear protective gear, and those who do not. I, myself, have tried to be as diligent with wearing gear as possible. However, I have recently succumbed to wanting to look cooler than being safe. Let's face it, riding around with the big old barn shield mesh jacket is, well, not stylish. I started to wear my Dixon flannels while riding, and I know they will offer no protection in the slide. Like most of us on the interwebs, we are slammed with advertisements everywhere we turn, to the point that it's almost scary. Enter the Skull Riders Company with their Kevlar armed gear. I decided one late night while conducting a 2 a.m. feeding to my newborn to go ahead and be the guinea pig and try this one out. Last time I took part in an Instagram ad, I was burned, so this time I made sure PayPal was an acceptable form of payment. Got the order confirmation and then a couple of days later got the DHL shipment. Who still uses DHL anyway? But I digress. The tracking number was provided, and lo and behold, it arrived a day early. The score. The outside is a 100% cotton flannel that seems very thick and well constructed. We know this layer will not hold up to the side, so let's dig a little bit deeper. The inside layer is a mesh-like jacket designed to let the air flow through. But again, mesh will not hold up in the slide. What makes this jacket hopefully worth it is the Kevlar lined middle section made by DuPont. I am hoping I never have to test the durability of it. I'll assume their test of it is legit. Other features of this flannel include removable armor in the back, shoulders, and elbows. Its front can be zipped, snapped, or both. Needless to say, I'm hoping this will be the piece of gear I've been searching for. The flannel comes in various sizes and colors. I ordered the 4XT according to the size chart. Their standard size goes up to 6XL. And I kind of thought this is where I needed to be. I have bought armored gear before and it tends to run, well, a bit snug. But I stuck to my guns and measured my favorite 5XL Dixon shirt and I found I was between the 3XT and the 4XT. I decided to go for the size up, so I know I would be able to enjoy it right away as opposed to losing a few pounds first. So this here is my 5XL Dixon that I used to measure for the Skull Rider jacket. As you can see, it's nice and long and you know, it has a little bit of value room so when you're riding, it doesn't show your belly. <laughs> so let's put the Skull Rider on now and let's see how it compares. As you can see, we got the Skull Rider jacket on now, again, nice and kind of loose so when you sit down, it kind of has some room to breathe still. Now one thing I am noticing immediately, that back pad, that one might have to come out. That one's really uncomfortable. But the, the armor and the elbows and the shoulders though, both seem not too bad. Although it does look like they're giving me a little bit of a pro football approach. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go for a quick ride to actually see how it feels on the bike. All right, here we are in the real world test ride with this School Riders Kevlar lined armored flannel. Um, I'm kind of impressed first off with the airflow, to be honest with you, because I was expecting it to really block out a lot of the wind. When in reality, I think because of that mesh liner that's in there, I am still getting quite a bit into me. So that's that's a good start anyway. Now granted it is low 70s today, so it's not like a hot day to ride. But man, I, I, I'll tell you what, I'm almost cold. <laughs> I'm almost cold. So I do apologize guys, there's not going to be any forward facing today with this helmet. Um, I just have a simple Xbox microphone hooked into here to use for our test purposes. But besides, this review is about this jacket anyway, not about what's going on out there. So again, the first initial impressions is airflow seems to be really good, and I've only gone 
up to about 30 miles per hour so far so let's ramp it up here see how she really feels this Woo. man this lane splitter is so loud i really do hope the audio comes through we're cruising at 60 right now and all i'm getting is wind noise we'll have another review about this guy later um, i've got two of them i love their helmet it's just you get kind of spoiled with showing but i digress back to what's important here is this shirt jacket hybrid thingy majig that i'm wearing so as far as the, the stretchable comfort goes it feels like i'm wearing my dixon it lined up really well as you can see in the garage there to my 5xl dixon flannel yeah, this is a 4xlt version of the school rider jacket and woo, i'll have to do another test when it's back to being you know high 80s and 90s to see how it does but it's letting the cold air in so i'm assuming it would also let the other air in <laughs> when it's a little bit warmer. But again, I was a little apprehensive buying something off of an Instagram ad because I had bought a solar panel thing for like a backup GoPro battery and I never got it. And then that led to me having to file a claim with my bank, which led to them canceling my debit card, which led to a whole bunch of other stuff. Yep, the, so I just did some slow speed turns there in that parking lot, and I'm not feeling any tightness that's preventing me from doing anything. Um, as I did mention in the garage, that back plate, I can tell it's there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But the nice thing about this is these are all removable, so if I wanted just to run it as a Kevlar shirt, I definitely have the ability to do so. So again, I just wanted you guys to, you know, kind of put your mind at ease when ordering from this company. I am in no way affiliated with them. I just thought I would, you know, test it out because I'm always wanting to ride in flannel, it seems like, and I just know it's not the safest way the way I've been doing it. And it sure does beat the old barn shield mesh jacket. <laughs> So with that being said, everyone, I hope you did enjoy the video. I, I tried to make it a little entertaining as well. And as always, I will catch you on the next Dark Side. As this is the way. Chopper 15, you guys.